Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here, and Bobo. 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 So uh, we are. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, I need to scoot up a little bit. Yeah. We are doing Yard property work. maintenance, and in that property maintenance, we are mowing the lawn and weed eating, and cutting property some maintenance. some limbs back, and we are also burning a burn pile as we speak. And so that, you know, actually it is property maintenance. I mean, some people are making fun of me, but realistically, if you know how to properly maintain your property. Your yard in the city is what he's talking about. It doesn't matter. It's a piece of property. And if you maintain it right, you are taking care of things that can hide people, things that can in the city disturb lot. you at night <laughs> because it makes your motion sensors come on for your motion lights. And you see three and quarters of the lot. I know that I don't have to deploy lights. 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 He needs lights. Which is why we made, decided to make this video about yard maintenance. Property maintenance. Property maintenance. And it's actually wise. Got to trim the tree limbs that are lesser than four foot, at least. Should be like six foot, seven foot if you're going to drive under the big tree, like some people do. Uh, they're almost, those we got to cut down. That's about eight foot, nine foot. So, this afternoon, I just kind of got a, a wild hair to come over. I heard he was working in his yard mowing and and uh, so I said well I'll come over I know he's got that burn pile and I don't like to do that alone and Scout was busy and so I thought I'd just load up and I came over I actually made a stop at Dollar General but we'll talk about that in a minute because I've sidetracked now and uh, so I came over and I pull in to surprise my friend with some tools and the stuff to do a burn pile and because uh, i have a rake i just haven't got out of the truck yet good surprise and uh yeah no great it, surprise it just you know to come take care of my friends and so i pull in the driveway and i park and he's not mowing his yard he's across the street mowing his neighbor's yard i didn't even see him pull in yeah <laughs> when i got done mowing the lawn over there i turned the mower around and said Oh, Travis is here. Princesses. And so, we, uh, <laughs> we, uh, he was mowing, and I'm like, okay, that's awesome. And I couldn't resist taking a picture of him mowing because here I come over and I'm trying to do something special for my friend because I know he was working hard. And, and his yard, uh, you can't see it, but over here it's not done yet. Yet he hasn't finished mowing, and and he was having some mower issues. And he still, he's gone. So, so he still went over across the street and took the time to mow his neighbor's yard. His his neighbor doesn't have a lawnmower, has a weed eater, and keeps it well. And they weren't home. It was a surprise, but it was a blessing to see someone from my core group taking time out of his busy schedule. There's lots he could have been doing for himself on his own land. And he was taking time to help someone else. And I like that. That's the kind of person you want to be your friend. And that's the kind of person that I try to be. Someone who puts others before self on a pretty regular basis. So don't be scared to reach out to the people around you, your neighbors. Get to know them a little bit. Of course, this particular neighbor, he knows pretty good. I mean, fairly well. Probably as well as most of you know some of your neighbors. And as certainly as much as I know some of my neighbors. So we went to help him. And what a wonderful blessing. And it just reciprocates back and forth. So 
So Bobo's coming back, so I got to change the subject. But uh, what? get out. <laughs> Nothing. Why are we changing the subject? Get out. Do what you can. Take care of your property maintenance. Management, property management. Property management, because you manage your property. Okay. You should no. Realistically, I know you're you're you don't you you think my words are silly, but you should manage whatever property you have. Whether you're in a city lot, whether you're out in the boonies, whether you have a ranch stead or a home stead field or whatever you have. Yes, I'm being a goober, um, like normal. So, but you really want to be able to live comfortably wherever you're at and you want to take away eyesores, but also you want to make it easier for you to maintain, patrol, keep your family safe, whatever it is. There you have it. We won't tell them about the middle of the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope it's a beautiful day where you're at and you're getting something accomplished. Uh, I hope you're managing your property. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a great day. Let's get ready.